Alright, yeah, once again we are back again with our RimWorld Beta 18 little project. So, we're uh, making a corpse room apparently because uh, this storage pallet should not take anything but foods game. And I want to copy the settings there, paste the settings there. Yeah, it shouldn't really uh, have corpses in the kitchen, but you know. Uh, We've got um, a bad case of animals drinking our beer. Apparently they feel the need to go in there and have a bevy constantly. So, yeah, one of our mufflers is pretty hammered and constantly getting hammered as well. Vomit of the mufflers everywhere. Are we finally finishing up our dining room? Yes! Alright, do we get any, like, uh, really, really good quality stuff? I know we got, like, one legendary... Something like that. Yeah, one legendary there. Very good that it's on the end, you know, where the the royalty would sit. Ah, we got another one there. Speaking of, let's uh, let's move that legendary to the end then. They should all be at the end. And we've got ourselves a green carpet coming in. I don't think we've got enough cloth to finish off this room, unfortunately, but... Uh, this green looks very sickly. Slightly bugs me. Hmm. Only slightly. Should bug me more. But that's our joy room anyway. We've managed to uh, build our joy objects out of silver. So it is a very rich area. Although it could be richer, I suppose. Oh. We're being raided. Okay. Well, before we deal with that raid, I actually want to reinstall this here. And the reason for that is I actually... I've decided I want braziers in the corner because it needs to be well lit, this area, right? So the only way I can do that is if I move this table down a little bit. So let's get that done. Oh, let's see. They don't look like too bad of a uh, situation. Still got Trobo who's injured, but is that everybody? I can't remember if we had like an infection... Yeah, well, you had the Infection 8, but you've gone over both of them. That's real good. All right. Looks like we're uh, we're clear to go. Hopefully these guys get involved somehow in a helpful manner, but I doubt it. All right, draft everybody up. I want to make sure everyone's got their weapons. Landoa, you need a melee weapon. Take the Master Crafted Hammer. You need a melee weapon. Take the Forester's Axe. You need a ranged weapon. Take... Superior recurve bow. You stand there. You stand there. You stand there. You stand there. Manny, you stand there. Bring all of our ranged units at the back here. Ape needs a melee weapon, so you take that bearded axe. And Rusty, you go here. Zeke, you go there. I think that's everyone. The trade caravan is leaving. Hopefully they get in the way of... Oh, no, Trobo needs... Some gear. Oh. Uh, tribes people are beginning their assault. Alright. Uh, we've also got Ape having a tantrum. Midway through. So that's good. Uh, could someone replace Ape? Kai, you go up there. Right, Trobo, you need a melee weapon. Take one. And go stand there. Go three times speed. Ah, that's a problem. Somebody needs to go and shut that. I didn't realize we'd had a hole punctured in our wall. That might be a problem. Hmm. We'll see. Looks like there's only a small amount of them that are going up there. And they still have to get through the granite door before they can get into the area anyway, so... In that regard, there's not much to worry about. Alright, our range units are making very good... Oh. Yakov has been shot to death. Well, still don't need the animals, so that's fine for me. Are you punching a deadfall trap? Interesting choice. Looks like we're going to be completely fine. Although our range, their range units have just stopped at the front. Yeah, there you go. Get lost. Multi-analyzers. Now, this is... Multi-analyzers are disabled in this mod. 
but I could also really do with one. Hmm. I don't know if that's uh, something. I'm going to take out Gazelle because he's punching my walls and that cannot be allowed to happen anymore. So sort that out. My bad, guys. I've got the window open. It's like 9,000 degrees in this room, so kind of really need to leave it open. There we go. I still hear more punching. Oh, it's just eight. All right. Undraft, everyone. Get back to work. You know the drill. We uh, strip off the survivors and then haul all of their stuff urgently. Uh, Trobo's gone berserk. And he's punching a boomalope. Yep, not gonna, not gonna discuss that one. Certainly not weird, right? Ah, oh, this was faction of the green turtle. That's not us, right? <laughs> You've punched a stray boomer up from another, from that trade company, I guess. So you got a couple of burns. Rusty's running away now because you've just punched him. It's not very nice, is it? Stepan, I need you to come and tend to these guys because they have open wounds. And that obviously cannot be allowed to be uh, ignored. So get on with it. Trobo, please stop. Get over yourself. It's held open. At least Rusty's gonna uh, shut this for us, right? Of course not. Alright, you go through there. As long as he's chasing Rusty around, he's not doing us any harm. Just punch the near-dead corpses. Seriously. <laughs> Leave him alone. God damn it. There we go, his berserks come to an end. Jesus Christ. Tend to my people. How's this coming along? Uh, we've got 64 cloth left over. Not enough to finish it off, of course. We need a little bit of wood so we can finish off this area. Why have we... Uh... Oh, yeah. We wanted the superior one in here. And then reinstall this one somewhere around here. There for now. We wanted the good quality one in here for some reason. I can't quite remember why. I guess it's because where the servants are going to sleep, so... Might as well, right? Stepan, your mood. Very joy-deprived. Well, we do have lots of joy materials around. You might say that they are the finest joy materials that one could produce. Or some of the finest, anyway. It's clearly not because... Um, it's not made of gold, and gold is much better than silver. It's also harder to come by, and I have no interest in making that a thing. Okay. So it looks like food's going to be okay. We're, uh, this 10th of December is 15 days in a quarter? Quadrant? Quadrant, yeah. And we have to wait until the 6th of April, May, before we can start constructing again. Uh, growing again. So other than our animals, we're okay. None of our muffalo seem to be hammered, although this cow is certainly making a go of it. The problem is, if I go back to restricting them, which would stop them from drinking our beer, then for some reason there is a... Um, a restriction bug where they just can't find food even though it's in the zone. So, don't really know what to do with all that. Holy crap! Wow. Uh, didn't think that would look the way it did when I came back to it, but sure. Hopefully we'll find a home for all of that. It's going to take a while, i tell you that right now. We're going to try, damn it. Oh, did you destroy one of our braziers? Is that why this is here? Thanks, whoever it was. Preesh. 
All right, we have ourselves another corpse bonfire, so let's get the cremating corpse order done. Uh, Landower, you're on it. Keep an eye on this. If it goes anywhere near zero, then I'll stop Landower from doing the job. Get him to refill it so that we don't have to build it again, because it's a pain in the ass that I even have to do that in the first place. But yeah. Lots of hauling. Lots of disassembling needs to be done. Brexios, starting the fires. The twisted fires. Let's keep an eye on him. I'm sure someone will uh, come along and put out his fires. There you go. I was a little worried about that one. But yeah, just keep an eye on him. I shouldn't have to draft someone to follow him around. Yep, ape. Getting on your husband. Getting him to stop. I've just realised as well that Ape and Brexios, in the 70 odd uh, episodes that we've had of this run, which is obnoxiously long, by the way, uh, they're the only couple that have. Well, the only couple for a start, which is very unlikely to begin with, but also the only couple that haven't gotten married. I don't know what the odds of that are, but I think they are very, very low. Looks like our stockpiles are nearly full again. Fantastic. Got this one left to go. And all of that left to fill. So, quite far away. Landover, could you refill? Need ingredients. I see. That would be a problem. Let us chop some wood. Yeah, we'll do that. Unhappy nudity from Landoa. Your gear is missing some pants. Can we have pants, please? Striped trousers. We'll take that up to 14 so you can produce one. And what's next, really? We still need more wood for this room here. Uh, this is basically a growing task. There's not much construction that has to be done here. We need a golden bed at some point, And we need to figure out a use for this room. Which I'm still... Oh, this was supposed to be the treasure room, wasn't it? That's right. So we want a stockpile zone here. And this takes all of our gold and silver. That's what this was for. Uh, gold... We'll take jade as well, that's probably uh, worthy of going in there. Yeah, gold, jade, and silver. All of that goes in here. That's what that was for. What does the floor want to be in a treasure room? I guess it wants to be like flagstone. You get the limestone flagstone. It's probably my favourite of the flagstones. Just like the colour of it. It's very nice. An idle colonist, Brexios. Who is also somehow in the restricted area. How you manage that when even me with you... Oh, you actually just decided to go inside and grab all the clothes you wanted. Is that is that it? Force wear your stuff and get out. That's his foreboding. There's now a winter cloak in there, which is great. Not. <laughs> oh, dear. Muffalo, could you uh, stop consuming all of my money? Thanks. Appreciate that. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, the zones are in a weird spot where if I had, like, everything except for this tile, you could go. They would still probably starve to death and say there's no food on the map. I mean, they're kind of doing that already. Um, it's not my problem, though. Since there's food right here. Yeah. Don't know what to tell you, bud. But that's 162 potatoes, 249 rice, and 190 corn. It's plenty. That is plenty. So you're going to have to get over yourselves, little bud. Alright, these ones here need to be toggled, because I don't want them fueled up. 
still want to wait on the power toggling because I want all the lights to come on at the same time. I think it'd be really fun. Fun's probably a, a strange word to use, but make me happy. We could pick the perfect uh, dimensions for this room because I can't center anything, unfortunately. This kind of looks like center in a weird way. Center of the beds, anyway. But it's not. It's triggering me. Muffalo one died of malnutrition. Fair enough. Well, we will eat Muffalo one. Muffalo two is no longer. Get out! All right, you've done it to yourself. Get out. You are now restricted from everywhere that has food. You have done this to yourself. Please leave. I mean, this looks like a great party, but it's not. We are low on food, right? So we're gonna have to get some orders to hunt again. There's lots of deer there. It's nice to see, honestly, because it's not very often you end up seeing uh, large animals during the winter times. We've gone like 60 odd episodes without picking up that compact machinery. That's fair enough. Don't know why. A lot of weird things that have gone on in this particular run. And eventually, ooh, so many wild boars. I'm gonna stay in the forest, killing boars. Hmm. Give me the meat. Well done, Braxios. We have too many, uh... Ooh. We have too many animals, honestly, so... A muffalo dying of starvation is really not that big of a deal, especially since we're low on food and we can tit. And we have already begun. Alright, well, we'll wait for these traders to come along. We can sell a few of the dead man's apparel off, which will hopefully make room there. I looked away for one second and the corpse bonfire went out. Fantastic. I really wish there was a better way of doing this, because it's very, uh... Very annoying that I have to constantly rebuild that fire. It makes sense from a flavor perspective, don't get me wrong, but... 77. Okay, well, I want to buy all of your pemmican and all of your herbal medicine because I need to sell more things to you. It's basically how it comes along. Right, let's uh, sell off loads of Dead Man's Apparel then. Until they give us... 77 silver. And I'll have to double check that I haven't given them any of my uh, God King's weapons and things. Because that would suck. From there. Give me all your money. Sorry. <laughs> I realise that this isn't the most entertaining part of the game by a long shot. Which is why I try to get it done as quickly as possible. It can be difficult. Sure, whatever. Let me make sure we've got the God King's plate, not selling it. Got the God King's mask, not selling it. God King's gauntlets, not selling it. Good. Oh, confirm. There we go. Hold that urgently, please. I need it moved. We've actually cleared out a fair bit of space now, which is nice. That's what I like to see. The snow seems to be melting. Uh, that bodes well for us and for our animals who are now starving to death. So I'm going to unrestrict them. In fact, I tell you what, we're going to do an experiment. New animal area. This is animal area three. You can go everywhere except for here. And manage areas. Three, invert. All of our animals are now unrestricted. So they can go get the stuff from the fridge. 
if this isn't bugged. So we'll have to see. Most of our uh, flagstone seems to have been done. I'm going to hide that because we clearly do not need a glowing red floor now, do we? Otherwise, I would have placed red carpet. But yeah, the flagstone's going to be quite nice there. I'm going to fill up this room as much as possible. Probably not very much because we don't have that much. We actually spent most of it on the weapons and armor of our God King. Who's... Uh, Armor has started to degrade now because people keep wearing it. Very annoying. Have we got any uh, gentleman statues? I know we wanted to make a few. We've got a fair few in like people's rooms, and I guess we'll move those out uh, at some point. Because honestly, our victory condition is finishing off this area, so if I have to strip apart the town a little bit, by all means, I'll probably go ahead and do that. So maybe the gentleman statues up here will uh, be the ones from people's rooms. I'm not going to take their beds, of course, but because I don't really want to put them back to sharing bunks because they're already in like mental breaks constantly, which is annoying. This uh, Medieval Times mod doesn't really provide an opportunity for you to put them in a fantastic mood 24-7. At least that's from my experience anyway. What do I want for the floor? in these hallways. What is being murdered right now? Ah, this wild boar. I'll go grab it. Keeps us from starving to death. And now the snow's melting, all of the animals should be able to go outside and chew on the grass that's now reappearing. Or at least that's the hope. I'm seeing a lot of plants here that have not been cut. That are infected. And that needs to stop. I don't think there's anything else infected. No, it seems to be it. Uh, I'm going to just manually do this now to make sure it happens. Because when we get to regrowing, I don't really want to have this left around. Oh, Val's on it. Good. Harvest failed. Really? Would have never known. There we go. We got rid of the blight. So when the 6th of April May rolls around, we're actually ready to start growing again and have food. Muffalo 3 is still starving to death. Well, honestly, a miscarriage there wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah. Since we are struggling with food, I don't really want to feed babies either. That would be annoying. Almost finished the treasury room. So I need a path type for this here. I'm going to get a lot of cotton, I think. I'm going to turn this into a cotton field. Heal root, I kind of need. We've got 51. And obviously the food we kind of need as well. Um, this is all rice at this point. Well, this is now cotton. And this is now hops, hops, and hops. I'll leave the other two for rice for now, just because when we get to the growing zone, gives us that little initial bump of food that we actually probably do need. Cow is pregnant. Yay. Wonderful. Still not moved these uh, corpses, I see. We could try that. Lando is on the cleaning, which is... Probably pointless at this stage, but it does need to uh, be done eventually. I'm adding that to our victory condition, that this place needs to be spotless when we finish. How have we managed to get blood in here? I guess maybe it was always in here when we were building the floor. That would make a lot of sense. Alright, well if he's cleaning the floor, then I need to make a floor. You see, the reason why I want all that... Uh, cotton is because I think that a carpet path is actually what we need. But I think it's going to be dark carpet. I think dark carpet along here. I'll fill in the doorways at some point because I'm not sure which direction I want to bridge the gap because we got this thing here essentially. So whichever tile is in the doorway is actually on both sides. I'm not sure which side I want to have 
um, carpet on or anything else for that matter. But dark carpet I think is the, the go ahead on that one. As for this area, let's have like a, a wooden fence that goes around around this area to be like a pond kind of thing. I'd like the Shrine of Pang Li to be reinstalled in the center. And I could have like water surrounding it. Maybe that's what I want to do. Go terraform. Is it dig up water? It is dig up water. Surround it with water and then it'll be like kind of a little water feature there. And then zones, growing zones. Let's have a line of flowers along here. And a little bunch of roses here, I guess. Roses. I don't think daylilies are what I have in mind. Maybe they are, though. Frago trees. Yeah, the rest are just trees. Daylilies just kind of look like... Well, those are daylilies, aren't they? Oh, those are dandelions. Alright, never mind. Uh, these do want to be daylilies. And that's going to be our garden. Maybe needs a little bit more, uh, more doing to it to make it truly beautiful, but... Beautiful in the eyes of Rimworldians, anyway. Have we failed to place this shrine. Hang on. Zeke's on it for some reason. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We might be failing here. Drop it. Install it. Eh? I, I don't... I don't get it. Constructor. Ape. Ape can't install it. Which uh, leads me to believe that maybe putting the mud around this was a terrible idea. Because seemingly I can't place this anymore. And I have no idea why. Hmm. Ah, we have some Plasteel Gentlemen. Let's get some Plasteel Gentlemen placed, shall we? I'm not that fussed about the Plasteel being used because we didn't really have an opportunity for it. A Blood Blade. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really have a use for the Plasteel to begin with, so... Making them out of Plasteel is completely fine. Anyway, guys, we've run on long enough, and for some reason the game's starting to lag, so I'm going to end off the episode right here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then be sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon, all that jazz, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.